Well up Tatsters, welcome back to the channel. I'm George, this is Retro Reselling. If you caught my last live yesterday, I did say I have been outsourcing. Saturday I went to a pre-love kilo sale, Sunday was a boot sale but it's really small, and I've also been charity shopping. So this video is just basically showing off what I bought and just to show that even though boot sales are nearly over, obviously it's gonna be a lot harder to get stock. There's always stock out there, you just gotta hunt for it. So yeah, I thought I'd just go through one by one what I got and also people enjoy it so I might have to do another catwalk a bit of modelling with the ski suits lots of varying colours here so yeah we'll do that at the end we'll come to charity shops first when a boot sale season is all like done wrapped up uh, I tend to hit different towns every morning once I drop the kids and wife off at work and I hit all the charity shops in that one town but because obviously I'm still getting items from boot sales I don't have to do that just yet so I'm just doing the local ones when I'm dropping off at the post office or picking the kids up. So this is only from a Friday after school. Got a couple of items to show you. Nothing that will blow your mind. Or well, it might do. But this uh, comforter I picked up out of the... There's normally a, like a basket or a box full of like plush soft toys. Got this one for a pound. Uh, it's a jelly cat or little jelly cat apparently. It's just a soft toy comforter, like a little soft toy attached to a blanket, obviously designed for like newborns or like smaller children to cozy up to. Jelly cat is quite um, popular. Uh, I think the girls have actually got some from when they were born. They do come and go, different design. So I'm guessing this little guy is retired. I've done a little bit of research. They have got different names, but you have to do like a Google search for this. I don't know if they've got design numbers on the tags or anything. But yeah, this little guy, surprisingly, is gonna be going for about 20 to 25 pounds. Uh, just make sure, obviously, because it's gonna go to a newborn or a child, just make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure there's no marks or any dirt on there or anything. From a pound, can't be going wrong there. Wish I could get more of them. Second item I got in that charity shop was these beauties. Very granddad, but these are size 10 and a half, paid eight pounds. What are they? They are bowling shoes. So like you see me buying the bowls, like lawn bowls. Uh, these are made by Henselite, so the same brand as the ones you can get, like actual bowls. Uh, so yeah, just really good condition, sort of uh, slip resistant uh, soles. So obviously when they're bowling that they don't like skid and mess up their roll or whatever it's called. <laughs> so I've never seen these before, I didn't even realise Henselite made uh, shoes, I thought they just made the bowls and the bags. So I've had to pay £8 which is paying up a little bit but should be returning sort of 25 to 30 hopefully a little bit more if there's not as much competition for this size. Not amazing again but still a good profit, good healthy profit, nice easy posting item again and yeah happy to have these in my store. So moving on to the actual boot sale. Obviously there's only about a couple of weeks left, there's about four or five rows. Um, yeah, obviously lots of dealers there, including myself, all fighting for like good stuff. Made four deals, but I got six items. So yeah, let me show you what I did find. I'll do the bowls first, obviously we just had bowling shoes. These aren't Henselite though, these are, if I just get one out, Allmark Commander bowls. With bowls, because obviously they're designed to like clonk into each other during the match. Just make sure there is no cracks or damage. These are fine, they just need a wipe over, a bit muddy. So they've been played on actual mud and grass. They usually have a bowls club name on, because obviously people play in teams, but that doesn't affect prices at all. Yeah, Allmark is a good name. They do come in different colours. If you can find coloured ones, then you're looking at really good money. I only had to pay £2 for this set, which is an absolute steal. Uh, I normally pay up to like a tenner for a set like this, especially Allmark because that is a better brand. Looking at solds and completed, should be asking at least 50, but knowing me, I'll push my luck, probably try 70, 75 if there's not much competition. They might not sell straight away as we are obviously not in uh, lawn bowls season, but you can do indoor bowls. Not sure if that's as popular or not, not in the bowls world myself. <laughs> Two pound into hopefully at least 50. Very happy with that. Very happy to find this one. I've done a battery test, but I haven't CD uh, tested it yet. But we've got a Sony Discman. Nice vintage retro item, love finding these. Normally when they're on the table, they're gone straight away, unless they've been priced up silly. Got this for a whole pound, or two pound. Two pound maximum I paid, and I couldn't believe it was still sitting there, so it must have literally gone on the table as I came down that row. The model number is uh, D90. 
looking at completeds and solds. Obviously, I said um, is I have battery tested it, but I haven't put a CD in it. So hopefully the lasers can go a bit faulty on these at times. So if all working and good, this is a very, very good item. Hopefully if it's all working, so it's 75 onwards again for this one, which is very handy for a nice lighter item. Even if it's for parts or not working, if the laser's not working, the CDs aren't spinning, I can still make quite a lot of profit from a faulty item. The power's coming on, which is good. The screen's coming up, but just hopefully that laser works and then we're making mega bucks here. This is a slightly unusual item. This is a Seawald Pack 500. Proper manly item this. <laughs> it's basically a pack tester, I believe. So plugs in, powers on. You can plug in your appliance or make sure it's like the case is electronically safe, basically. Sometimes these are battery powered and obviously they're left in garages and the batteries corrode and ruin it. This is a mains powered one, which is handy. Should be easy to test as well. Might even consider keeping this for my items. I had to pay £10 for this one, but happy to do that because looking at completed and sold, look at sort of 40 to 50, maybe 55 for this. So again, nice healthy markup, nice cool little electrical item, and yeah, keeps that money rolling in again. Last deal of the day was three items in one pickup. It was from my hi fi guy or my electronics guy, I haven't seen him for a while, but I got these three for £20. He had a load of other systems there, like just pure like DVD recorders or DVD players. I think there was a couple of video players as well, VHSs, but they weren't anything special at all. I usually buy the whole lot from him. He gives me a good deal. I take whatever and then charity shop, like the bog standard things. I do say normally with your contacts, keep them happy, but you don't have to do it all the time. Like on this occasion, I just wanted the combo players and he was happy with that, which is fine. He knows I'm, I'm happy to pay up for items, I regularly come back to keep money in his pocket. I haven't tested them yet. I don't think he's tested them. With his higher end stuff, like the hi-fi equipment, he does test them. So I've had no problems there this year with that sort of stuff. Obviously these can be a bit hit and miss. I don't think any of these actually transfer like videos to disc, which is what you're looking out for. These are just purely sort of, they play the videos, they'll play the DVDs, but they won't transfer. So not the top end items I'd like, but for 20 pounds for all three, one of them's got the remote. Hopefully they'll work and if they do sort of, 40 pounds each we'll say sort of 40 to 45 i sell these week in week out just a standard sale for me yeah i was running low on these i think i've only got one left maybe i've actually run out so yeah that's another free hopefully if they're all working back in the store and yeah nice free chunky sales again so that's the charity shop and the boot sale done but on the saturday morning uh, pre-loved kilo the vintage sort of clothing sale that i've been to a couple of times um the little one, our little one wasn't well, Friday night. So I woke up late, so I wasn't ready. I didn't have my camera on me. So apologies for that, I was planning a video. But I still managed to go there. I paid £14.50 for the early entry ticket, which also includes a kilo. And it's £15 a kilo. With this bundle ticket, you get early entry, so you skip the massive queue, which is handy for me, as I got there late again. But yeah, skipped the whole queue, went straight in when it was quiet. And that also includes my first kilo which is a really good deal, I believe. Also, before the event, you can buy advanced kilos at £12.50, I think it is. So you save a little bit and it's quite handy. I normally do a bundle with an extra kilo as well. Altogether, this lot owes me £110, I think it is, including, obviously, all the bundles and getting in and everything. Some really cool colours. I invaded the ski suit uh, aisle. Met a subscriber, but I didn't catch your name, so hi. Thanks for saying hi. Hope we see you again. Hopefully you've got some cool bits. Should we try these on then? <laughs> well, actually, before I try them on, there's one piece of item that isn't catwalk worthy. There's all sorts of items. There's coats, jackets, denim, tops, bottoms, everything. But um, there is like, a whole like table full of Converse shoes, five pound each. Uh, they're not normally in the best condition or they're just sort of bog standard, so don't normally bother with them. But I did see these ones, which were slightly different. Size nine and a half UK. Uh, it's like a high top, but sort of folded over. I don't know if you can see this with a slightly different design. So yeah, five pounds for them. Should hopefully be returning sort of 20-ish pounds. Hopefully 25, I'd like to get. So yeah, nice to see them, but everything else was sort of the standard converse, standard colors. So this was the only pair that stood out to me. Now let's get to trying some stuff on. Here we have the first one. 
there's a whole rail of just pure ski suits. There's at least sort of 25 to 30 ski suits all lined up. Unfortunately, they weren't all like this. There was a lot of sort of modern ones or plain uh, coloured ones. I was going for the Larry Loud patterned ones, like pure 80s and 90s, like you've seen before. This is an Aldi one. Fits me, so medium men's, maybe large men's. These are all done by weight. So, like I said, I spent about £110 in total. So on average, each item I've picked up owes me about sort of 12-ish pound, I believe it is. And this ski suit, for example, I'm going to be listing for at least 50. So really good markup from 12. Coming into ski season as well, which is good. So these should, if I can get these pictures enlisted ASAP, they should fly out the door as well. So yeah, there's the first one. This is probably my favourite one. See me coming a mile off down the slopes. This is actually made by Quicksilver. So we've got a really cool, loud, sort of retro 90s colour. It's got a good name to it, Quicksilver. of the uh, extreme sports type make. Again, about a medium to large men's, which is a good size. Right season. So yeah, I'll probably ask a bit more for this because of the name. Might try 85, see how that goes, take offers. If not, see, goes all the way down. A big yellow jelly bean, but yeah, this is really cool. Sadly, I've never been skiing and I'm not planning to, so I have to sell it. If not, I'd probably keep this and take it myself. Next one. Ooh. A bit more snug, this one, so probably small to medium men's. Still fits, but just a bit snug around the old uh, unmentionables. <laughs> this is probably the plainest design, but it's still sort of got like 90s vibe to it, with like the shoulder design. And yeah, again, sort of owes me £12. Made by Rodeo, which I've seen that name before. They sort of make lightweight winds jackets and stuff. So it hasn't got that punchy name or punchy colour, but hopefully someone wants a bit of retro, but a bit more subtle. So this is probably like a 50 to 60 pound item again. So yeah, really happy to find this. This one is very 1990s, like children's uh, TV show presenter type. <laughs> Obviously not an only one. Probably not a ski coat either, but just I just saw it on the rail, grabbed it as quick as I could. Look at these colours and patterns. I've sold similar coats before, sort of get between 35 to 45. Probably a larger men's, bit baggy for me, but I think the, the kids are liking the baggy fit. Yeah, again, just cool colours, good sizing. Hopefully, yeah, list it on Depop, hopefully it goes on there, building out a store as much as I can. Yeah, again, cool item. I couldn't get this one on. Standard sale, modern item. This is made by Champion. I was looking out for this name. Uh, Depop send emails around if you have got a store and they sort of send hints and tips on what brands to look out for, what people are searching for. And Champion, I've noticed, has been sort of a wanted name recently in the millennials uh, market. Not sure how well this one will go. I don't know if it's a fail or not. Again, every item owes me about 12-ish pounds. Probably this is a large, but this will be a large women's, I believe. Lighter sky blue colour. Yeah, just in nice condition. We're in the right season, so hopefully it does go. As for pricing, this will probably be 25 to 30, hopefully. Hopefully it's not much less. But yeah, I thought I'd pick it up, saw the name. I remembered that's what people are searching for on like Depop, for example. So I thought I'd chance it. So hopefully it goes well. Now this takes me back. Calm down, got the guns out. <laughs> but yeah. LA Los Angeles Clippers uh, jersey. Bit of damage here. If I just lean forward. I have to get a bit of needle on that, stitch that back together. Bit of really cool, really heavyweight Adidas NBA jersey. Griffin 32 on the back. Again, uh, there's quite a few of these, but they are faded or a bit more damaged. This one's not too bad. That should be easily fixed. So it's medium, so mine again. Back in my high school days, I'd probably be keeping this, but. Um, yeah, again, average of £12 per item. Hopefully, I haven't looked at, at this one, but I'm hoping sort of 25 minimum. Hopefully a bit more, 30-ish, 35. Really cool item, happy to find this. Yeah, just took me back to my high school basketballing days. <laughs> my favorite items from the pre-love sale was a toss up between a Quicksilver ski suit and this item here. This is really, really cool, especially into your football. Obviously, retro Umbro branded into Milan, Italian sort of training uh, sweat top thing. In the perfect sale, I'd go straight in. There's a row of classic football shirts, all genuine, and I'd just buy the whole lot. But obviously, football shirts, everyone knows, like gaming, 
People know they're worth money, so if there is one, they're gonna get picked off straight away. Go through the rail, I just saw this arm, saw the retro Umbro, which looked quite cool, picked it out, and yeah. I was really, really happy to see the Inter Milan uh, badge. Yeah, if you don't know Inter Milan, just an Italian football team, like highly regarded in the footballing world, especially back in the 90s and early 2000s. This is one for me, extra large, but extra large is good for men's. Looking on eBay, there is a couple listed, I'm not sure about the sizing, but this should be at least a £50 sale, I'd hope. And if it doesn't sell for that, then I'm happy to wait. It's a really cool item, really good clean condition, very rare and yeah this might actually be my favorite actually as it's footballing there we go that's everything i picked up from this past weekend it just goes to show just because the boot sales are finishing that's not the all be end all uh, the items are out there we've just got to find them we're living in the 21st century get your smartphones out get your google out look for jumble sales fairs Try and buy a wholesale, like used items if you niche down. The stock isn't just going to magic out the air and fall onto my lap. You've got to go out there and find it. It's going to take more time, more fuel, more wear on the car. But yeah, that's how you've got to stock up if you're in this game full time. And hopefully this video shows that it is possible. It's all waiting out there. You've just got to go and find it. I'll wrap this video up now. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Sort of a few different items, different uh, categories again. Keep that stock like rotating. Get the sales in, spend it again, rotate. Because we're not hoarders, we're sellers. We've got to get that stuff out there. Sorry I didn't get any in-camera action type footage, but girls back at school next week, planning a charity shop challenge with the different towns surrounding me. So look forward to that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, uh, so you know when I'm releasing new videos or going live. I'd like to go live once a week if I can. So yeah, it'll be good to have you on board. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.